What's up everybody? This is CryptoBox with another video. If you're new here, I make videos daily about blockchain games and NFTs. Subscribe if you're here to make some gains. Also, check my Discord and Telegram down below in the description. You can find me there, ask me questions, give me suggestions, and communicate with other people. So let's get started with the video. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the new Wanaka game. And now it's out of the beta test, closed, whatever it is. It's now actually open to the public where you can actually play it. Uh, obviously, it is not played or earned yet because this is beta. This is not official release or public release or anything like that. This is beta after beta closed version finish, which was three days uh, ago, basically. Uh, now it's officially open to public where you can just play the game and uh, you won't be able to earn or anything. And uh, yeah, so here you can see that um, if you want to download the game, all you're going to have to do is click medium. Once you're done clicking medium, this is their medium link. You'll see this one right here, Wana Wanaka Farm, closed beta test instructions. And uh, you're just going to scroll down. So you're going to click read more, scroll down. And right here you can see game download link. You click this, it will open a Google Drive. You click this, right? You double click it. And you click the download button. Once it's downloaded, you're going to extract that folder. And you're going to open the game file once you open the game file it will show you a qr code open metamask on your wallet or whatever you're going to be using scan that qr code restart the game and uh, you'll be to you'll be able to play the game so uh yeah this is running on the test te uh, test net which is binance smart chain test net which is just like obviously not official not the official binance smart chain and so this is just for testing. So you're going to have to click uh, this link right here where it says game download link. Once you click it, it's going give, to give, get you to a drive.google link. Once you've clicked uh, the link, you go right here, double click this, and you'll click download. Uh, once you've downloaded, extract the folder, uh, open the game, and you'll have this thing where you connect your wallet with a QR code. So whatever wallet you're using on your phone. Uh, just scan the QR code, reset the game after you've done that, once you click connect, and then uh, you'll have the game working and you'll see this. So right here you can see the Wanaka Farmer game, and you'll spawn in right here, looking this way and whatever, and you'll have this tiny piece of land right here, uh, if you don't exclude that land right there that I just have. So this is like, before this border, whatever, and uh, all around here, you'll have this default land. The default land is where you can't really do anything. If I click spacebar right here, you can't really farm anything, do anything. You can't touch anything. All you do is walk around on here. And uh, you have this tiny pond on the default land. Some already grown stuff. This tractor and all that stuff. Every single thing on the default land is not usable. And uh, I'll show you how to actually get started in the game. So... We're going to start off with the help button. So this is all the controls. You can see WASD, shift for running, switch UI slash game mode, click tab. That will open uh, how you did that right here. If I click tab, then you can actually click on these buttons. Then change camera view. If you click the second, this is the first steps of the game. So this is like only for the test run. The test run, you can't really earn anything from it, obviously. And uh, that will be it for the few days. Don't invest any actual WANA tokens or Y tokens in into this game, into the test run game. Because you're not getting anything out of it. You're just losing the money. And uh, basically, that's all. Now, when you, into when you get into the game first, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your mail. And in your mail, you have a land uh, or some type of mail sent to you. You're going to click that mail. You're going to claim that mystery box. That's... What's going to give you some random type of land. Obviously, this is for the test run. This might not be for the official release. You'll get a free land. You unbox it. It goes to your treasure right here. And you have a like a mystery box right here. You click that and you click open. Now you'll get like from common to immortal, whatever it is. This is not yours truly. This is just for the test run. You get that. Whatever you get, you're going to go to map right here and uh you will see a land right here you won't see this here i got uncommon from the unboxing you will see right here whatever you got you gotta drag that to the top left bottom or right you can see the map right here this is the default land and this is the excess land whatever you planted so you can put it on the top top left bottom right and i put mines on the top now once you're done with that on the actual land you place you can actually start doing things. So you can see here, I started planting cabbages, uh, apple trees, 
I put a few fish in the pond that uh, they gave me. And uh, basically how to start off with the game and start earning and whatever. Uh, I'm going to teach you through all these uh, buttons on the top right here. So inventory is whatever you own. So this is going from like your land to you, uh, f like sea animals to uh, trees like the apple tree and all these type of things. Decorations. All is in the inventory. Shop is uh, whatever you can buy from the shop right here with the WAI tokens which is part of the game. Uh, and then right here is breed. You breed like different seeds or different foods or animals together. And uh, you get an end product of whatever you bred together. You have the factory. Uh, really right now you can't really do anything in here. But you can put your product and uh, like add some fertilizers or whatever to it. Then you can go to events. Events is uh, not really working right now. It basically doesn't work. Uh, but you can click like ranking or whatever like trying to get the biggest apple biggest cow whatever it is and you get like these tokens right here when I want a tokens and uh, yeah these are events like chicken racing sweetest apple all that if you go to map the same thing you see your map mail help everything I told you about it you got your quests so these are the quests you can't do weekly or main quests yet you got only daily quests and I've done uh, three of my quests or two of my quests Three of my quests actually and you can see you got like energy bending burn 150 energy so right here this is your energy at the top every t every time you like dig or do anything so I'm gonna show you an example right here if you click spacebar that's gonna dig you uh, plowed land and you can see one energy thing has been taken away from me now you can get rid of it and that's gonna take another energy thing from you so uh, that's how it works X will get rid of the land here which I would not to like to do on my cabbage and then space will dig and then if you click space here you can water on whatever uh, pl pl plants you have if you have some empty you're gonna click space and you can choose whatever you want to plant but mainly it's only this section that you can plant plant on plowed lands if you're trying to plant uh, like trees and stuff on random land all you're gonna have to do is click uh, inventory and you're gonna go to trees and you just select the tree and you click space and it plants and then you water them now you can see I already have Y tokens here and I'm gonna complete this one uh, quest right here at the top uh, if I can find it real quick uh, I'll do that uh, once I get my new quest uh, tomorrow I can show you how to do it in my discord or telegram I'll put a video and you can find it there because burning a bunch of energy right now is basically really hard for me to do since I've done all my other quests and uh, doing one thing will get rid of one energy unless you're doing like heavy work then that's gonna take more energy so once you got your wanna tokens or Y tokens whatever they are uh, you can go to shop and you can buy these seed packs now seed packs will give you like uh, a set of like two things from the four items they have so they'll give you an apple two apple trees two cabbage uh, seeds two cows and two fishes so a small fish so if I click buy right now I can get like multiple I'm just gonna buy one just for the video you click buy and it goes and you get it you go to treasure so you can unbox this or unpack it or whatever you can see these are the four items you're gonna get so they're giving you f uh, 10 items in total I'm pretty sure or eight items actually and here I got two of each so eight items and uh, these are usable in obviously every season you can see summer, winter, autumn, uh, fall and uh, stuff like that. Now once you've got it, uh, you can go here, you can click space and you can see I have two more cabbage seeds or cabbages. And you're going to click use and you're going to click space to plant it. Now if you look at the top left, it used one energy bar and then I'm going to plant another one on this plot. And then you're going to water these two. So I'm going to click space and that's going to water it just like that. And you're going to water these uh, quite frequently. They'll tell you when to water it actually. So you can see uh, right now on the bottom left you can see when to water them exactly. You can see this like little clock uh, that is uh, like fully see through and then the rest is like kind of darkened. And once that hits to one of the water plant pots. Uh, you can actually um, give them more water and obviously if you don't do it it's probably just gonna dry out or whatever and then you got the trees part so I'm gonna go right here to this plot 
and you're gonna click inventory and you're gonna go to your trees and I can see I have two apple trees I'm gonna click use and I'm gonna click space to actually plant these and uh, there you go you click space and you're gonna click space to plant your apple trees and boom I planted it so there you go uh, the other tree seems like that was a bug so obviously uh, that didn't plant and you can report that to the developers or the developers will see this video and they will learn that there was a bug here so it seems like uh, one didn't plant but that's alright uh, this is the test now you're not losing anything so don't be sad or anything or don't complain just report it to the developers and you'll be good uh, here now you can see the same thing with the timer but this is way longer this is about 12 hours almost and uh, you're gonna have to wait but here you can see that this one has uh, like three times you have to do uh, before it's like fully grown you could say or you get one singular apple and these daily quests will come back to you all uh, every single day and uh, yeah now I have some fish obviously I showed you earlier I'm gonna all I'm gonna have to do is go to my inventory click Q and if you go to the fish side you can see here this is my fish I'm gonna click use and I'm just gonna click space to drop him into the water so find the empty space where you didn't put a fish so I'm gonna go over here and uh, you can see here and now it's occupied I can't place a fish there so you're gonna go to your next one and you're gonna put your fish there so uh, now I put all my fish you can see they're all roaming around and you're gonna act actually have to feed them so you gotta go over here and uh, they would tell you to feed it but it seems like I don't have to feed it unless uh, it's glitching out oh there you go now so you click right mouse button to cancel that you want to place more you click space to feed that uh, one singular fish right here he comes to eat it and then you do it for this one right here and that fish comes and eat it after so uh, they'll start breeding or something or they'll grow fully and then you kill them obviously and just do whatever to sell it or make money uh, basically that's it for like most things now if you want like a cow or whatever so I'm gonna turn off builder mode and I have cows right here I'm gonna click space to have the cow right here it sees this location is being used I'm gonna put the cow here because the fence is there and boom you got your cows so I guess I'm gonna add a cow right here this is where the cows are stuck to so this plot of land you could say and you just place them all over the place wherever you want to and they can't get out of this like green greener grass and uh, yeah now you feed them all obviously if you don't feed them they're gonna die and I'm gonna feed all of them and basically that's it for the like the game aspect once the official release is out you could probably start making money out of this with those Y tokens on the quest or you could spend them into like the game for all these cows and all of that Obviously, if you have like a immortal land, maybe that will have like a bigger plot or maybe like more aspects. And uh, yeah, that's basically it for the video. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Comment what you want for the next video and what can you recommend. And check my Discord and Telegram, ask me questions, suggestions and all that. And I'll see you guys later.